Hey guys, welcome to Victory Flame, and today I'm going to show you how to build a basic cat encyclopedia using vanilla PHP and the cat API. Before we get into it, uh, I just wanted to let you know, you guys know that uh, there are many different ways to set up your PHP environment, but uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a Docker file and Docker to run our PHP application. And uh, what I'm going to do is I first need to install Docker, which I will give you a link in the description below to install Docker. And next, I want to add a Docker file onto our PHP application. So just copy and paste this, um, these three lines of code uh, from PHP uh, colon 7.3.0 dash Apache, uh, copy uh, slash and then slash var dub 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 slash HTML and expose port 80 or just expose 80. Um, and next what we want to do is we want to call, um, we want, first we should uh, build out our uh, index.php uh, for the sake of time and to save you guys the the noise of me tapping on the screen I have the code lined out here already for you so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this PHP application using the following command uh, docker build dash t cat dash app dot And now this builds our container. And now we want to run it. So we do docker run dash p 3000 colon 80 cat dash app. And let's go to localhost 3000. Okay, so we have our already built cat application on the page. And what we want to do is we want to break this down step by step just to know how we got to this point. So what I'm going to do is I am going to comment all of these out. So we have a blank HTML page. And we want to rebuild and rerun. Right, refresh the page and now we have a blank HTML page so I'm going to uncomment this bit by bit just so we can see how things are broken down so let's uncomment this and let me just comment this out so let's focus on this these three lines of code so in our HTML body, we can, we can call PHP by creating a PHP tag with a, a greater sign question mark PHP, and then we can do things like create PHP functions, we can create PHP variables, and use all that PHP has for us to use. So what I did here was I created a, sorry, a data variable that sends a request to the cat API telling us to get the first 10 cat breeds in, a, in its list. Next what I did was I created another variable to decode our JSON string into something PHP can use. And now we want to loop through what we've just gotten since we have 10 different cats we want to have uh, a list of those cats along with the images of those cats. So what I'm going to do here is uncomment this line of PHP and just comment out this so we can focus on what's going on here. So what we're doing here is we're calling the for each loop, um, iterating through data J, and we are calling the value inside uh, data J each uh, element in the data J array. Um, we're calling it I. So what we're doing here is we're breaking out of this script and we're eventually going to close this loop uh, using this script here and for each, but let's just focus on this next PHP script. So we have another PHP script that sends a request to get a specific image depending on the breed of cat. 
in our query string parameter, you can see here breed, breed underscore ID, and then we can then we concatenate um, the variable data j um, uh, dollar sign i, and then we get the ID. So what this will do is it'll go to the cat API, um, and it will get uh, our image based on the breed that we want. And this is coming from our previous request over here, where we got the list of breeds. Next, we want to actually send the request um, to get the, the images. And then we are going to call JSON decode to decode our JSON string into something PHP can use. Uh, notice here how I did it with two variables. And here I did it with just one. Um, either way uh, works. And use the one that's to your preference or what your code base follows. So the next thing I want to do is comment this out. And now we have a list element that contains an a tag, a div, the name of our cat, and an image. So what we do for the a tag is we create an a tag with an href containing a string which we get through using PHP. We break into PHP, we call echo, and we create our string breed PHP, query parameter name equals, and we get the name through our cats variable. So cats breeds name. So we did use this uh, query parameter to get images, but it also contains the name of our cat, which also helps. Um, the next thing we would like to do is uh, create a div containing the name and also our first request contains the name as well so technically we could have both this and this be the same but uh, I'll just keep it uh, different just to show that we have different options here and what we're going to do is um, we're also going to create an image and we're going to break into PHP again and get our URL from our uh, image request so we call a variable cats index zero and then get the URL property. We set the width to 100 and the height to 100 because these images kind of had have a uh, different sizes. Just for the sake of consistency, uh, this will make all the images the same size. And then we break out of everything. And here we have our end of for each loop, which I have mentioned previously. And let's save this. And let's restart this again. And let's refresh. And you can see from this application, we have the name, which comes from here. And we have the image, which comes from here. Uh, you can see that uh, we have all this information on the page and we are now able to just go through this and we can also click on this to get more information about our cats. So how we did this was through our a tag and you can see here that I have uh, breed.php um, with our query prem as I mentioned earlier. Uh, we need to create a PHP script um, well, not a PHP script, but a, a whole PHP file that we were, we're going to direct this to uh, in order to get to this point. So over here, I have our PHP file containing our very simple uh, HTML body, uh, header tag with, uh, with an A tag that will take us back to our original page. And I have a PHP script here, a very small one, that will just call the cat API, concaten and we concatenate the query param that we that our original request was on. So our a tag contains breeds.php, query param name equals, and over here we're getting the query param name. Uh, but there are some 
results here that will throw an error or will not throw anything if we try to search for them. So American Bobtail, American Curl, American Short Hair, these all have a space in them. So what we want to do here is call string.replace to just get rid of that space and replace it with a percent %20. Uh, other cat breeds like uh, ones without spaces, like the two above, won't have this issue, but um, we are just taking care of that particular situation for these very long names. And the next thing we do is we send that request to get those the those breeds. This is a similar request to what we did in the beginning. And then we decode that information so we can use it in PHP instead of it just being a JSON string. And finally, we have a uh, H1, H2, H3 tag, one containing the name, the other containing the origin, and the last one containing the description. So if we click on one of these, you can see we get that information right here on the page. So uh, this was just an example to show that you can create a nice simple application with PHP. You probably noticed that we don't have any dependencies, we don't have any uh, npm install modules, or we don't have any pip install, or we don't have a bunch of dependencies just bloating this application. This is just raw PHP and we're creating a useful web application just from vanilla PHP. And only these three, well, technically with the PHP, it's just two files in a very small Docker file here. But yeah, for, for this application, all we needed was two files. We didn't need to do anything super crazy like in other languages. So thank you guys for watching and uh, I hope to see you in the next video.